Holy sh Just before I get into this video, if you could do me the best and biggest favour, that would be wonderful. If you click that little button that is going to be popping at the bottom of this video and click on that subscribe button, I'll be so, so grateful. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers at the moment and I am steadily getting my way there, which is lovely, um, with the help of uh, with some with some great friends as well. So if you could do the same and just help me with the, with this channel and supporting it and making my algorithm just that incy tincy wincy little bit better, that would be wonderful. Happy Sunday everyone, it seems like it is the happiest of Sundays. When did we ever expect this to happen? So low key, no expectations, and I tell you what, I said so many times that I wanted to be away from socials when um, the new doctor was announced and I didn't even get a choice in that matter. I mean, to be quite honest, I was never, it was never going to happen, was it? I was never going to be able to stay away from socials. <laughs> but oh my god, I, I, do you know what? You know when you have these moments where you just, you, you not quite, you don't quite believe that something's just happened. I actually got a message from a friend of mine, um, basically with the tweets that Shooty Gatwa pops on his Instagram. I know, I know it's not a tweet on Instagram, um, it's just a post I suppose, <laughs> with the two love hearts and the blue box and I, my initial reaction because I was just so, com I, I wasn't expecting it at all, I just went, who? completely forgetting that I had watched the whole of Sex Education, in fact I think I binged it. Um, go and watch it if you haven't already, um, as long as you are of age obviously, I don't want to encourage anyone who's too young to watch uh, to watch that. But with a new doctor comes an inevitable amount of, um, of tweeting, of social media going berserk and actually, surprisingly, and I'm so happy to say it, nice things happening. People not being dicks, people being kind, people not having actually any awful or negative things to say that I have seen. Maybe I've seen one or two tweets that I haven't responded to because they were in, they were commented on my own Twitter, um, my own Twitter thread. I am so over the moon that Shuti Gatwa is the next Doctor. I'm so happy for him as well. He seems so excited. I mean, wouldn't you be if you were announced as the next Doctor as well? And um, and as excited as I am, not that I want to make this a negative video, I'm honestly over the moon, but it's so funny because you know when you feel like you want something and you've been hoping for something, I mean, for myself, I wanted either Joe Martin or Chris Marshall to be the next Doctor, and it's so funny because I thought I knew what I wanted until Judy Gatwa was announced as the next Doctor um, because now it means that I actually don't know what I want and I'm just so happy that it's him. I can't wait to see what his costume is going to be like, what is his TARDIS going to look like. It's just such a nice feeling to be excited again. It's such a nice feeling to not be able to wait until 2023. I mean, I'm excited for autumn anyway, that's going to be great. And whether or not it's a disappointment, it's still the end of an era. We're still going to see some sort of a regeneration. I have changed my stance on this completely. I originally wanted a open-ended regeneration. I don't want that now. And I want to see Rutica regenerate into Gatwa and just wait for the moment that I fall in love with him. Because that's what I do with every Doctor at some point. Um, certain exceptions, but that's not a video I'm going to get into now. No negativity. I'm not having it. Sorry. <laughs> that being said, hmm. so I've talked about how lovely it is. I've talked about the Twitter community. I've talked about how a lot of people seem excited and I'm going to say about 99% of people are excited. Myself, you know, being one of them. However, the one problem I have not with shooting at work whatsoever but with the doctor being a male again is that that means that means that there's going to be plenty of ammunition for the nmds to come out and i'm not about that life I, I, if you're one of those I, i'm sorry but we probably don't interact because i just don't want to talk about why a female doctor is so wrong it just doesn't it's not for me probably it's because i am a female <laughs> probably it's because i am a woman and although i wasn't completely on board with jodie whittaker or I say Jodie Whittaker, but with there being a female doctor, I never really wanted that in the first place. Now that we have it, 
and now that it's not exactly gone down amazingly well and now that we have got what a lot of people may view as the worst era of Doctor Who in recent times especially I feel like that's going to be a massive detriment with the Doctor now being a male again reasons <laughs> I've got a few but the main one that I have is that a male Doctor will prove the NMDs right it will prove the toxic fans right because now there is a sole scapegoat for why Doctor Who hasn't been as well received as other series and unfortunately that scapegoat is not even going to be Chibnall it's going to be Whittaker because because what is the only difference between eras from New Who I'm going to go off up until this point and it's that the Doctor's a female you can count Joe Martin in that and that's absolutely fine by me I mean anyone who knows me anyone who has spoke to me and anyone who's watched any of my videos will know that Joe Martin is incredible to me and I love her dearly I mean I wouldn't want her as the next doctor if that wasn't the case you know but for this and in this particular instance it's going to be really hard for me to I don't even know what the word is it's going to be hard for me to look on Whitaker's run and not feel bad and I don't want that. That other reason is because it's, I mean, we're one episode away from her leaving and the one thing that I've said, go back and check and if I've said anything different then, you know, feel free to prove me wrong, but that I want Whittaker especially, I'm not even that bothered about Chibnall anymore, but I want Whittaker to go out with a bang. She deserves it and if that doesn't happen then it's already been overshadowed somewhat with Shooty Gatwa being you know revealed and that's fine every other doctor has had that where their replacement has been announced so much prior to to you know to this one but not when their run is already in such a fragile state however I, like I said I don't want this to be a negative video I wish Jodie Whittaker all the best I hope to God that she you know has the best send-off any doctor's ever had she deserves it as I as I said before and the you know the new oh, the new series that's gonna come in 2023 in itself I can't wait I think it's gonna be incredible RTD's back we've got a new doctor we're gonna have new companions things are gonna be different and things are gonna be great and I don't want it to take away from Jodie Whittaker's run but I'm um I'm really excited for the future and that's something that I've not felt for in well a while I'm really really happy as it stands and I hope you are too um but you know what what are your thoughts I'll be really interested to know about it drop something in the comments down below and um, let's have a conversation I am also on Twitter and you can follow me there um if you can also press that subscribe button for me that would be wonderful i would uh, i would be really really grateful for that one too i'm trying my best to get to 500 subscribers as i said at the start of this video and that would that would make me so so happy if i can get there in a decent amount of time i would be i would be over the moon so shoot to get worth what are your thoughts like i said before let me know um and we will uh, we'll have a really good discussion about it i'm sure and you know especially if you go over to twitter because i'm probably a bit more um a bit more active on there in in terms of um, being able to respond to people but until next time keep yourselves well keep yourself super super safe and i will see you very very soon